Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to remove unwanted ads and pop-ups and redirects in the Google Chrome web browser. So if your browser's been compromised, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to reset it. Now this will delete any extensions and bookmarks you have on your account unless you're currently synced with your user account. So if you're using your email to sign in, it should be able to automatically sync everything up. However, you might not have that ability so if you just want to go and select the menu icon and then select more tools and extensions you can see a list of extensions over here so you might want to take note of what they are before you go ahead and clear everything out so once you have Google Chrome open you want to go and select the menu icon your top right corner of the browser screen select settings scroll down to the bottom where it says advanced and expand that scroll down again and then underneath reset and clean up. You have a couple options here to clean up your computer which will run a virus scan or you could also reset settings to their original defaults. If you're having this problem specifically with Chrome I would suggest selecting the restore settings to their original defaults here. And like I said this will reset your start page, new tab page, search engine, and pin tabs. It will also disable all extensions and clear temporary data like cookies. Your bookmarks, history, and safe passwords will not be cleared. So that's a little bit different. You can discount what I said about removing bookmarks so not quite as bad and then you can go select reset settings. Also would suggest considering cleaning up your computer so running a scan when you're done might as well doesn't really harm anything so this would actually go ahead and just scan your computer for any harmful software just an interesting built-in feature that came out with Chrome in the past year or so so you just want to let it run hopefully it wouldn't be able to detect anything And if it did find anything, you could just remove it or choose not to remove it. It's a pretty straightforward and intuitive process. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.